fall on some trap like the Hitler, Nazis, and think about uh, the Tatar and uh, in their time, yeah, Mongolian. So Mongolian believed that they are the people they should invade all the countries and they kill 10 percent of the population in that time. So according to most of the people's morality, if we take the morality according to what most of the people thinks, then they were right in that time. You see, so we can't based on some people's morality. We can't based on a. <clears throat> Would be another way, so yeah. yeah, okay. So you see that if we take even another way, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, good, good, excellent. Yes, so first of all, we agreed on some point that the creator is one who is independent and all knowing, right? So if he's independent and all knowing, yeah, it has to be. For example, is otherwise he, he can't create the things because it's necessity for the creator has independency and being all-knowing. Look, if you don't have independency, you can't stand here. You have to be independent to be here. You have to be independent to go to your home. If someone stop you, you can't. So creator has to be all ultimate independent. Without ultimate independency, creator it goes against the nature of the creator. The, by necessity, creator is independent. Yeah, And by necessity, creator is all-knowing. Because if he doesn't know everything, he cannot create. So then he's depending to some, something else, which is contingent. So contingent thing cannot be a creator. It has to be uncon in uncontingent and not depending on anything. Yeah. So if he's all knowing, if he's uh, independent and he has uh, by necessity, creator has the free will because he created us with a will. Right. So by necessity, if he has the free will, free, he has the independency, and he has all no, no, knowledgeable, by his knowledge, he will he understand what we need. By his independency, he don't have any restriction to give the guidance to you. And by his free will, he will guide, give you the guidance. You see? That's how it works. That's why you should take the guidance from the creator, not from the human being. Then the question will be, how do you know what, what is the guidance? Right? So we can check it out. We can check we can check with the falsification test, right? Which things make sense. So if you look at the Christianity, if you look at the Judaism, if you look at other religion, why you do, don't subscribe to this? Think about it, that's the Bible. We don't know who wrote the Bible, first of all, right? Going back to uh, main two religion, Judaism and Christianity. We don't know who wrote the Bible. So if I give you a book about surgery, yeah, and medicine, and you see there is no writer then if you read it, read these books and go to surgery it's possible that you will make mistake and your patient will die because you don't know who the writer is you'll never take the book so we don't know who the writer of the bible we don't know we don't know who wrote the old testament we don't know who wrote the new testament so if i don't know something if i don't know who wrote the books even how can i subscribe to these books and that's the reason you'll find many contradictions in the Bible. You'll find many contradictions, many times it has changed. So God's word, the divine word cannot be changed. Right? So that's the reason we don't accept the Christianity or the Judaism. Secondly, Jewish, they're rejecting Jesus. Yeah? He's one of the historical figure. They're rejecting Jesus and they don't give any, like, any importance on Jesus. They're saying, okay, Jesus, we don't, we don't care about him. And they're rejecting Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him as well. So Ju Judaism, they are being extremists by rejecting prophets. Yeah? And Christianity, they are being extremists by taking Jesus in another place, the place of God. They are saying Jesus was a God, which Jesus never claimed to be God, first. Second, Jesus didn't say he worshiped me, I'm God, worship me. Third, Jesus clearly said he was not God. If you read John 17, 3, Jesus was saying this, the Father is the only true God. Sorry? Yeah, so... Yeah, that, that, that's, that's crazy, to be honest with you. They said that he came from God, meaning he is God. He's the son of God, meaning he is God. So there is many sons of God. Look at the 
Maybe like Abraham, Ishmael. Like, no, 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 it's not that he's not. He's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, they said the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. They believe that uh, God is in three person, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But if you say Father is God, Son is God, Holy Spirit, is, there is three God. Isn't it more of a representation of the one? Because no. Of a of that one. No, then, then, the, then the point will be, is Jesus fully God? The answer is yes, according to the Trinity. According to the Trinity, the answer is yes. That's, that's the problem, you see? That's the problem. According to the Trinity, Jesus is fully God, Father is fully God, and Holy Spirit is fully God. By the way, Jesus never claimed he is God, as I said. You'll never find any single verse from the whole Bible where Jesus said, I am God. So if he didn't say, I am God, why should I worship him? Why? And if someone says, if a, many people worship tree, it doesn't make tree God, right? So worshiping something doesn't make God. They are worshiping by their fault. The Hindu worshiping 33 million God doesn't make them right. People worshiping fire doesn't make them right. People worshiping sun doesn't make sun, sun God. Yeah, so excellent question. Why should we worship God, right? Because we should be gratitude. We should show our gratitude towards God. If we don't worship God, God will never change. Like, oh, God will in higher if we worship? No. If we, if we don't worship, God will be less? No. God is always as He is. Yeah? So God will never change. We, we need to worship. So, first of all, okay, okay. Excellent question. So, first of all, He is the creator of ourselves, right? He created everyone. Think about it this if I worshiping is showing gratitude, nothing else, showing gratitude towards God, yeah? If this brother give you 100 pounds, yeah? And yeah, or if you give me 100 pounds, think about it. And then one year later, I said, no, he didn't give anything. It's so ungrateful, right? I'm rejecting your help. You helped me by giving 100 pounds. And then I said, oh, oh you didn't give me. So I'm lying. First of all, I'm lying and I'm rejecting your I'm reje rejecting the help you gave me, right? That what will be the best thing? That, okay, I will be grateful to you. Yeah, you helped me a lot, and it worked, and I got a beautiful, for example, job. I went in job, uh, and these are that I need hundred pounds. You gave me. Then what? What is the human? As human nature, we should be. We should be gratitude. And we are showing gratitude towards God by worshipping. God doesn't need our worship. That's the thing. One thing is God needs our worship. No, God doesn't need our worship. We need. We need to be gratitude towards God. Do you understand? Do you understand why you need? To, uh, why you do worship? And the thing is that God is merciful as well. Yeah. So once we make commit mistake, once we make any mistake, if we say, "Oh my God, forgive me," God says He will forgive you. God knows we, we, we as a human being will make mistake. Then we need forgiveness. So if we ask, oh God forgive me, we don't need blood like the Jesus. We don't need the sacrifice to anyone. We don't need human blood like the Christian. We say, yeah, if we ask the God for the forgiveness, Allah said he will forgive you. He's the Ghaffar, he's the Ghaffar, he is the attributes. One is forgive, he is his most kind and he, he can forgive anyone. Sorry? Pain and suffering? Okay, causing by me or what? Yeah. Okay, so Islam says that if you don't uh, treat better the creation, if you don't good with the creation of Allah, the creation like human being or any of the being, the creator, yeah, with any of the being, with any of the being, if you don't be kind with any of being any creation, the creator will not be kind on you. So why are you guys not Sorry? Why are you guys not Why do you animals? So animals, the thing says, something is... What animals was afraid of? Then Allah approved it. Something was approved from Allah, something was not. For example, we can't take pork, right? We can't kill pig, pork. We, 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 don't, we don't take it. Allah is approved something and Allah doesn't approve something. 
Because what? It seems like the no, because who who we are to ask Allah? Who we are to ask the Creator? He knows everything than 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 us, right? Is Allah not supposed to be like morally consistent? You believe he's morally consistent? Yeah. So, so how does it make sense to allow certain beings to be suffering and killed and not others? How does it make sense? So, without killing, when they die, will they feel suffering? When any being die, for example, a cow or a sheep, when it will die, will it pay, feel suffering? No, no, no. Will it feel suffering? We are talking about the suffering and pain, right? Okay. Will it feel suffering? When it's dead. When it's dead. Yeah. I don't know. You guys, I guess, no, no. In, in in general, did you see any being uh, when it's, it, it it dies? Did you see any bird or anything when it dies? in uh, uh, geography, national geography or any other channel. If there is, if you talk about the suffering, that every single being, when, when they die, when they die, they already feel the suffering. So you can't stop the suffering by this. You will feel suffering when you you will feel suffering when you when you will die. I will feel suffering when I will die. You're basically saying because dying is inevitable, it's fine to hurry up. No, no, no. I'm not saying hurry up. I'm saying God approved something which is approvable. I don't understand why. Doesn't that need to be accounted for? Like why is one, why one, and why not others? Why is it okay to kill certain animals and not people? Because God approved it. But I, I, I'm saying you, you are talking about. That's such a big statement to make. Like, you have to tell someone just like that, right? Like, you can't just, like, because God said so. There must be a coherent philosophy of there is two things one is halal one is haram which is approved which is not approved yeah Allah approves something Allah doesn't approve something he knows his best we need for example we need protein we need others so how do you get it you, you can't wait 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 wait, wait. when when a dog uh, is killed by for example tiger so it's still suffering then you can say God is unjust how? Then how a tiger will survive if the tiger don't hunt anything else? Yes, sure. We have consciousness. Yeah, we have, we have consciousness. We have own intellect. No, no, no. I, no, I'm saying. No, we are talking objectively about the suffering. So if you if you if you want to defend the suffering, then first of all, every being will suffer when they will die. Second, why about when a tiger, by his necessity, kill another an, another being for for necessity? Think about it. Uh, when it wait, wait. Should, in Islam, should suffering at least be reduced as far as possible? Yes, can, yes, yes. If you are going to kill them. Yes, yes. Why do you yes. Kill yes, yes, we do, we do, we do. For example, no, no. For example, if someone shoot an animal, someone shoot cow, we can't eat this cow. It's impossible and it's haram. It's it's, it's, it's not permissible. It's, it's not permissible. The way that you guys kill farm animals, you don't stop them killing animals. You don't stop them killing animals. The slaughtering in a, in, a, in a certain way. If it if it doesn't go with a certain way, for example, if someone... But is like, it a certain way about messiness or is it about reducing the animal suffering? Because we do, we do, yeah. But you don't stop the animals. Sorry? Like, in a... Obviously, I don't think we kill animals in general. So, you, you don't think, so that's your perspective. Yeah. You don't think, yeah. That the thing is, for example, think but about think, it. You have no, a cat. I don't think, think about it. Yeah. I'm just think about an analogy. Think, think, think about an analogy. Yeah. You have a cat. Yeah. And you got a cat in your or or you got a cat in in the street. The, this cat is going to die. And only option is you need to give him food. So will you give some meat for this for this cat for survive or not? Wait, I have enough food. Yeah, so yeah. the cat needs cat, need, cat needs meat, right? Yeah, so you'll give it. So where the meat come from? No, 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 no. <laughs> so just uh, stay on your point. Where the meat come from? From a cow? From some something else? So you see? You the, the scenario you've given the meat already exists. So obviously I'm gonna no, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm not starting a scenario. No, will you will you give the meat? 
Yeah. That's my question. If I already have the meat, yeah, I'm going to eat. But do I think it's in existence? No. Do I think the meat should be my? So how do, how how do how do you understand the enzymes and proteins? I can go to the biology right now if you want. I can jump to the biology where it's the enzymes and proteins. I'm actually I'm not like I'm not just going to be like vegan against vegan. I just think I'm not like I believe I agree with the vegan objective. Yeah. What's the objective morality? What What's the objective? Doesn't make sense to me to not consider animals as part of that. You know what I mean? Like if you were to have a coherent moral philosophy around animals, to me, it would make sense that all can be whatever. All part. It doesn't seem logically like a moral objective. It doesn't seem objective. There's there there there's a thing. There's a oh yeah. There, there's a thing. Like saying Allah himself is completely subjective. He doesn't exist. No 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 no. He ought to give a reason. I'm, no. I'm sure with other, with other like the commandments, you have reasons why the commandment exists. Like you know, like gender role or whatever. Yeah. And yes, it is a commandment, but you ought to have justification of why it's a good thing. Yeah. But you're not giving that to the animals. Okay. So with mean, the animals, with the animals, we have the certain animals, not all animals. First of all. But that's yeah. What I'm Okay, good. Let, let me let me clarify, yeah. For in a certain animal, we have the good for us. We have beneficially things in a certain animal. For pigs, for example, in pigs, uh, we don't have this. We, and and certain, uh, there is many research says there is some cancer. Cancer. If you take the uh, meat of uh, the pigs and other pork, there has the probability of the cancer and all the stuff. So Allah said He created everything for us. Yeah, He created everything for us for our benefit. And the the things Islam doesn't allow or the. What's the question? Doesn't it seem so convenient that like the way that we've structured our whole society, the whole hierarchy of agriculture, and the way that we needed for a long time to eat has been justified like that? It seems like a very human concept. It doesn't seem to be no. a transcendent, no, 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 no. godly concept. No, do you, you, do, you do you have the, the no, no? Do, do you have do you understand the strength cycle of biology? Do you understand this? Yeah. So strength cycle says if a cycle, if a cycle ch chain, uh, breaks the chain, for example, snake take the, you know, insects and other, right? So if the snakes stop taking insect or eating insect or other, then all chain will be breaks of the society, of the environment. So think about it this, that then the in snake is taking insect, insect, right? So then insects, snakes stops insects. Then what will happen is the insects will be around everywhere. Then they will affect the grass and other. Then it will affect the you know production of vegetable as well. So if you have the idea about the uh, you know strength cycle, then you can't ask, you, you, you can't really ask this question because everything is dependent. For example, the, the way that we kill animals now is it like that? Is more we don't we don't we don't kill animal like the other ways in any 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 different way. We we kill uh, we slaughter the animal. The cow, for example, cow. We took cow and chicken and this. Uh, we slaughter the animal in a minimum panic way. That's, they will get the minimum. If we, if if it takes longer. What? You have to stun the animals. That's what like ethical consider the ethical part. Okay, from which perspective? From from which perspective you see an email uh, taking eating uh, being not vegan is incorrect? From which perspective? Being non-veg is like something incorrect. From which perspective? Yeah. So because because you can't you can't show me any reason that why I can't take meat, yeah? Why I can't eat meat? Because look at the enzyme. If you look at the 25, tw let me finish. If you look at the enzyme so far, according not not by me, according to the science. I'm a student of biological science. I study biomedical as well, so I know the stuff about why I'm speaking. So if we so uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't take the morality from the biology. Why I'm saying is this: that according to the biology, according to the life cycle, according to the strength cycle, as I say, energy cycle of 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 uh, of the environment, the society. So we need this. We need this. Okay, if if uh, all the animals stop taking grass, what will happen? Grass will increase. If all animals, if snake doesn't take the insects, so insects will in increase. Snakes will die. So when snakes will die, other species will die as well because the things, uh, the species were depending to, to the snakes, they will die. 
So it will cause the death of other species as well. When you are stopping the taking food from, from, from these species, when you are taking, for example, uh, uh, as, as vegan, when you are taking some vegetable, we know this, every bee, they, they have life as well. So you are taking life of vegetable as well. They have life, it's science. They have the stem, they have the cell, within the cell, they have the my, 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 mitochondria, everything. They do it. How, how do you know they don't feel pain? How do you know that? How do you know? Yeah, you see, so when it comes to you, you are taking spray to make the avogadro and taking up uh, from from the California and the... Sorry? Animals can't believe in God? What do you mean? You're saying how do I know that people don't want to have feelings? I'm saying how do you know that animals don't maybe have stronger feelings than us? So when you're killing We do them, believe they have feelings, yeah. We do, have, we, we do believe that they have feelings. Sorry, come again? If you think they have feelings, uh -huh. how would you then want to like morally, how can you morally justify it? All right, so one thing is, first of all, our standard, oh, wait, 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 let me finish, our standard is not something biology, and from the biological point of view, you can't give me any reason why we, we should stop eating meat from biological perspective. We have enzyme, which I'm, I mean, I'm coming from the science perspective, then coming to the morality as well. So from from enzyme, if you if you look at our enzymes and the things we do have, yeah, we need the protein, yeah. So you can't you, you can't get the protein without meat and without all the all the things we eat as, as halal, obviously within the halal per, uh, halal paradigm. Secondly, yeah. Secondly, there is no biological thing biological proof there. Okay, eating meat or uh, like for 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 general eating, we are taking chicken or chicken or meat and which cause the natural calamities or this there's there, there's no proof of that thirdly that allah approved it yeah when allah approved it he did it he he create our he create our self he create our engines all the things for absorbing and when it doesn't affect the life cycle I gave the reason. I give the reason. Our body needs it. Our body requires the protein. Our body requires the, the enzymes we do have. So Allah just Allah just, just doesn't need to justify. There is no one to justify Allah. So what? Your job is to justify it. We? Anyone that's like studying the text or like trying to justify it, you guys should justify it, right? Or like reflect on the Quran. Reflect on the Quran. It doesn't exist by itself. First of all, first of all, if you don't give me the any objective reason why we should stop, then there is no argument that's why Allah should stop it. Do you understand? So if there is no objective in scientifically and any... So that's what I'm saying. So if you... Well, well, no, that's what I'm saying. So you, can't, you cannot resolve the pain. If you want to have the pain, that's what I do. No, no, that's why we did. That's why we do. That's what we do. When we slaughter the animal, we don't slaughter in, in, in any way. We don't slaughter any There is a rules and regulation of how to slaughter the animal in a, in a minimum level. Not that maximum level. We do have this. You understand? We do have this. That, that's not an issue for us. You see, so there is. From watching videos of it, I don't think anyone. So you didn't watch the videos of Muslim. You, you are watching the farm video, and these yeah, are the. The halal way. So for, for, and from. It does not mean that you can be According to you, you see, you see the reason. So you have the subjective. I'm saying. Well, I understand on this, on this thing there is objective, like science, and like how to make an atom. Do you think uh, being non-veg is incorrect? I think you can most of well, you're trying to provide an argument against it. I think most people they are practicing cognitivism by not being because most people love animals, love certain animals, are upset about certain animals, and that kind of thing. You have a no, it, way is of justifying it, what? the way that they're looking for yeah. it. It's still confusing to me because you're saying some, I don't understand why certain animals are allowed and others aren't. Because the animals that we do have the benefit of some animals that that, that is allowed, the things doesn't allow. It. What? Sorry. Which part? This animal thing. Like 
Can you not, we don't, can you not adjust your own uh, We don't. No, the th things I said, that's the Allah is all knowing. If God is all knowing and He said, this is the beneficial for me, then I can't deny it. Because I don't have, I have the limited knowledge. Yeah, so give me one thing which, which is uh, forbidden in Islam, but we have the we have benefit on it. Give me one thing or one animal or one drink or one anything. There's the Allah, Allah forbid, Allah make it forbidden, but we still have the benefit on it. Give me one thing. Give me an example. You said there may be, yeah, yeah. So Allah make it forbidden. Give me one example of animal, of drinks, or any of the fruits or anything. There's Allah make it forbidden, but there is some beneficial things for us. Give me one example. No, no you, you said you said right and wrong, right and wrong. You said why not others? That for uh, the things Allah Allah make restriction, why it cannot be like other things which has been allowed, right? So my question is this: there's, if if you said there's no, the, I'm not, I'm not gonna say like oh, <coughs> just update the Quran, the rules. I'm not saying updating or changing. Figuring out that the no, 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 no. How could that be? Because we, we know the preserve, we know the preservation of the what? We know the preservation. If we have the constant preservation, there is no way the people edit it. It never changed. You see? So that's that's the difference. So if you said that eating vegetable eating vegetable is right and eating meat is wrong then you need to provide the evidence why you think eating meat is wrong. Yeah? The second thing is, what's your objective why don't you truth? I gave you. So I, I use biology and I use my Quran as well. That's why it is right. I use the scientific term, why it is okay. Then I use my, use my divine term, why it is okay. Both. So give me your reasoning. Why do you believe that the eating meat is wrong? Because I think you shouldn't take away someone's life. When they so, who? You shouldn't take someone's life away. But you are taking the vegetable's life. Vegetable does have life according to the science. No, no, no. How do you know vegetable doesn't feel pain? How do you know that? When you're taking, you when, when you're taking avocado and others, do you know they are taking the sprays, they are uh, killing the many insects, then you are taking, taking it? So what's your morality then? Do you think they, they, the insects, when, when giving spray and they are dying, they don't have any value of their life? No? Really? Why I'm saying is this? Why I'm saying is this? It's, first of all, first of all, you, you are you are giving the subjective things. No, but I'm trying to figure out a way of making it objective, and I don't think it makes sense what you're saying. Like, I, I I agree that my argument is subjective. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to understand how it could be. I I gave the uh, explanation. I don't I don't know whether it makes sense to you or not. It doesn't make sense to me, but I feel like morally speaking, I don't really understand uh, why a god would create everything and then allow one to be sort of it to have dominion over the other to the point of inflicting continuous pain and death. But do you think? Or, no, no. Okay. You are saying why we are superior than the others? What's the reason? Isn't it racism? So do you believe there's the like basically I even if I accept that God is real, it's like this kind of question of evil or whatever that faith is saying, but it's like I it's hard for me to believe in that God that seems so incoherent. So evil yeah, is no, existing? That's why in the beginning of the what, what, what's your issue with evil and God evil and uh, no, I, concept I, of God? So it's just like the problem of evil, which is like, oh even if God is good, I would want to believe him because he is there's so much evil in the world. I mean she thinks this is the the case of the animal thing. I don't I but if I turn if I turn the table, yeah. if I say evil exists that prove God exists, then what? Evil existence of the evil prove that God exists. Yeah. Then what? Then we shouldn't be the ones doing the evil stuff. If it's evil, that one, we shouldn't be the ones doing the evil. You can say evil is just that proof. Okay, good. But you shouldn't be the ones that are not enacting the evil, right? The point of so we don't, we don't, yes. Then we, we don't, we don't follow the evil. We don't follow the evil. So how do you define the evil? You, you can define the evil. I'm saying 
surely killing me has to be considered evil in, in any religion or politics, like morals. Killing beings? No, no, no. You, you need to understand this. For example, as I said, there's the which life is important for you? A life which is in existence, a life which is superior, or a life which is inferior than 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 the superior. You have to explain why it's inferior. You can't say because look, look, why is it inferior? Look, you and an animal has different uh, different importance. Do you think you are in, you are important than the animal? Yeah, but maybe that's just a Why? Point. Why do you believe that? I think maybe it's because I am a human to survive you have by being an animal. Okay, so you know I mean? if you think the human is more important than an animal, so if, if human needs to serve human, human needs to serve themselves to meet the criteria of their nutrition, meet the criteria of their you know, deficiency of uh, protein and taking animal as their food, obviously in a, in a certain manner, why it's wrong then? Why it's wrong then? Why it's wrong? Yeah. You don't, you, it's still subjective. Give me an objective reason. No, no, no. Because you say don't kill other people, don't kill other things, don't cause unnecessary pain. So why is it right to do it for the taste buds? It's not just protein. It's obviously. Yeah. So, so then, then the enzymes we do have, enzymes do we do have for 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 the, for look look at the things. I gave it the biological reason why it is right. I give the give give. I give the moral reason as well. That's Allah said it's right. But that's not a reason. That's just like that's just a self-fulfilling. Um, self-fulfilling what? That's like. Um, so if you oh, look, if you like if, said, what, if you look at, if, if you I don't have woman, look if you don't. And then someone's like it's someone that identifies as a woman. They're using the same word within the definition. No, 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 no. That's like what you're doing. No, because Allah said no. I gave you like how why for our benefit. Because of biology, so you're basically because, not it, because like, of not biology. Biology, Allah created the everything, so Allah knows the biology already. You don't need to uh, teach Allah's biology, yeah. So you know you don't need to. What's the point of the biological? I'm trying to understand whether you are coming from a valid point or not. You don't have any valid point. Then you you can't show me why. You are saying that it is wrong. Then according to what? According to what? According to your subjective mind? According to uh, someone's subjective mind killing like a serial killer, he can think he's right, he's killing people. So I can't take his subjective feelings or morality. It needs to be objective. What's your objective objective feelings? I understand your it's your feelings, yeah? I understand I don't I understand what you're saying because you're right in a way, but I don't understand how your objective. You, it's like you're just saying I'm objective because I'm saying I'm objective. <coughs> I'm objective because Allah said so. Why? Surely there's something behind. Um, like I'm sure with so many other comments, you can tell me the reason why. Morally, like why? I matter? I told you there's that there is benefit on it. Your physic in in your physically you need it as as a human being. You need protein. You need other things and. As Allah knows what we need, He made it halal for us. Very simple. You are making it complex. Allah make it everything for our benefit, and our body requires the nutrition, our body requires the meat, our body requires this. That's the reason Allah made it. That's the reason Allah allowed it. The things which has, is not beneficially, Allah doesn't allow it. For example, drug, Allah doesn't allow it. For example, pork, Allah doesn't allow it. For example, taking the meat of a tiger, Allah doesn't allow it. So the things which is beneficially for us, Allah allows it, and the things which is not beneficially for us, Allah doesn't allow it. Very simple. And I gave the biological reason, I gave the medical reason why it should be okay. What other reason you have not to be okay? I can do it now. I don't All right. believe in Allah. So I, I, still, I am coming from my subjective. So your subjective morality, then according to you, your subjective morality, then it is right. Then according to Hitler, his subjective morality was he was right by killing Nazis. So you don't have any difference between them and uh, in terms of morality, moral ground. Then the serial killer is okay because he thinks it is okay. You see? So if you don't have the objective morality, then you can't... I'm, I'm trying to see how your objective morality accounts for this. And I try to explain. Alright then. The biological argument is convincing, but okay. I, 
So look, try to understand. If you don't have, look, no, no, no. If you don't have the, any biological problem, if you don't have any problem which is causing harm to the society, if you don't have any problem which is causing the life cycle of the human being or the life cycle of others, if you don't have the any things, I give the reason why it is. And Allah knows. The, yeah, sure, sure. So why I'm why, why, what, what I'm saying is this look if you come if, if you show this yeah everything has an objective things like it's your subjective morality you are thinking eating meat at all it's not right what's your morality then what's your what's your point of view that's the what's what's your base that's the eating meat is wrong i gave you the biological reason why it is right i gave you the uh, science I, I can give you the many many scientific paper why it is okay i give you the enzyme the which is within our body which requires meat i gave you the why we need uh, the meat and other proteins for for our existence then you are giving, you know. <laughs> Do you think, for example, someone came with a gun and killing 100 people in Hyde Park? Police came and he killed this guy. Is it right or wrong, according to you? Then you are saying. I thought I'm more consistent on this than you are. Yeah, you then, then what, 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 what you are saying is this that's the, a people taking a gun and killing 100 people. And police doesn't have right to restrict him. Is understandably validly about objectivity. Yeah. I don't see what's objectively. Objectively, I think it is right. Objectively, yes, I think it is right. That's not self-revealing. No, it is not. It is not. Come on. It says so. When you have the subjective, the, the just subjective things, and you are trying to understand. I find so, w w what is the Maybe inconsistency? What is the inconsistency you find? What's the inconsistency? What is the in inconsistency? The inconsistency is obviously you don't think it's okay to kill anyone here, but you think it's okay to kill. Kill what? Cow. Kill what? A cow. Cow in a certain way. If we need meat, yeah? Okay. So 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 what's the objective or, or what what's the objective wrong? Leave the religion. What's the ob objective wrong to take meat? To eat meat? What's the objective wrong? Uh, so killing someone, you are saying that. And your reason is that so we are we are we are giving pain to them. That's the reason. So when the, I won't do it now because it's just too awful. Then it's wrong. Just watch the video and see how you do it, and I know that you're going to think it's painless. Sure. I I I'm not saying it's it's painless. It has pain. Yeah. Okay, but should it le at least should it not be reduced to violence? Sorry. At least morally speaking, should it the pain not be reduced to violence? So pain is what the in which way you are like doing. Sorry? Can you guys not do that? Just the change the method? Yeah. Method of what? You're so you are saying, so changing the method, do you mean the changing the, you know, how we slaughter? Or, yeah, we, we don't, we don't slaughter like in any way. There is specific rules how to slaughter in a minimum panic way. That's the rules of Islam. Don't Without this? I just think maybe it's he didn't see that. Huh? He didn't see that. He didn't see how, how Islam says. I, I can refer some of the I books. Just, I'm telling you, you don't stun the animals. So, it's so do, you, do you agree that's that? Okay. Do, will you agree? How would that be the will you, let me finish. Will you agree that's that if we minimize the pain of slaughtering, is it it will be justice to kill the animal for our for our food? By your argument, it would be no. By by your arguments, by your point of view. So you are saying it's less bad. You, you, oh, there's, there's things between good and bad. So it would be you less are, bad. you are saying what? Well, okay, you are saying that's that you are. And I think it make you so we can't we we can't eat animal at all. That's that's your argument. We can't eat meat. No, no, no. You can't eat meat or animal at all. That's your argument. Why? Why I have to stop eating meat? What's the reason? So according to according to you, so it, it, it goes against my body structure. It goes against the biology. It goes against the biology I do have within my structure. I can't. I, I don't see any argument there. I don't see any argument. 
So if the scientific wait, 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 wait. if the scientifically it is right, if the, if our body needs, if our body requires the meat, if our body requires the protein, and I take it, moral. What's the moral? What's your moral? Yeah. Yes. My moral is Allah said, and Allah gave. Allah said it for reason. The reason is we need it. It's our benefit. In is for our benefit. Our body requires it. All the things. Then Allah said yes. Obviously, I guess the question is why should I believe in Allah over everyone? If I did, then I'd agree with you. Okay. So why? Why? Why should you? In Allah. Instead of Christianity or others. Okay. Good. Or just private. Or okay. Can you go? Yeah. So, <clears throat> first of all, as I said, if to believe in Allah, you believe in a creator. Do you believe in a creator? Yeah, yeah, you believe in a creator, but right now you are saying Allah, so we believe Allah is a creator, that's right, yeah? Secondly, we believe Allah is independent. So you agreed previously that God has to be independent, right? And we believe Allah is all-knowing. You agreed God has to be all-knowing. Going back to the why I don't believe Christianity. Bro, bro, bro. Can you give this up? Because I'm in a discussion. Yeah, can you give this up? Yeah. So, first of all, why you wish? Why you should believe in Allah? I Means the Creator, God, God of God of Islam. Concept of God is Islam is different than the concept of God in Christianity and the Judaism. As I said, that God is all knowing. God is all powerful. God is independent. In Judaism, first of all, they are rejecting Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, who is the uh, uh, historical figure, and they are the prophets. So I can't accept something who is uh, who are rejecting the true prophets. First of all, secondly, the Bible it was written by the human being, and we don't know who who wrote the Bible. So if I want to subscribe something, if I want to subscribe my faith on some books, and I don't know who wrote it, and I see the inconsistency within the Bible, I cannot subscribe because faith is something which is for this life and hereafter. So I can't subscribe a book which has been changed, which has been which we don't know who the who, who wrote it, according. The Christian scholar that we don't know who the writer of Old Testament. You see, in Bible, according to us, the old prophets were the sinless; they didn't commit any sin. In the Bible, Lut was a prophet in Genesis 19. If you re read this verse, it says that Lut made a physical relationship with his own daughter. Does it make sense that a prophet of Allah, a God, making adultery, make incest with his? own daughter going back again that's the david and the, all the prophets they give adultery or this or that and within the bible we don't know who wrote it we see the many inconsistency we, is, we see the contradiction so all the bible i can give you the 100 100 plus contra contradiction right now if you want so in the word of allah in the word of god there hasn't you know, like as well, the bible you can more easily see it like parables, narrative stories, whereas the Quran is supposed to be the direct word of God, so you can't reinterpret it. Is that not why there's inconsistency? Is because there's bound to be inconsistency or something that's like representation, whereas the Quran can't be. Sorry? Isn't that why? Like, Come again? Sorry, I didn't answer. The Bible is full of like parables and stories written by humans, so obviously there can be inconsistency. Yeah. Stories require that almost to have narrative structure. Yeah. The Quran is supposed to be the direct word. Yeah, what, what is the inconsistency in the Quran? Well, yeah, it wouldn't be. Is there is no inconsistency. That's what I'm saying. There's the Quran is unlike the Bible. Quran doesn't have contradiction. Show me any contradiction in the Quran. I can show you hundred plus right now in the Bible. Show me any contradiction in the Quran. No? That's it. That's why it is. Because I don't know. Okay. So look it up. Look it up. If you have anything, can tell me. I can show you why it is not contradiction. But right now I can give you hundred contradiction within five minutes in Bible. Then what? So will you believe a book which has been contradictory or will you believe a book which doesn't have contradiction and making challenge, not contradiction? Contradiction sounds maybe more fun for so like an So can you, for example, if you say your age is 20 and at the same time I am saying your age is 45, is there any contradiction? Yeah? So can this both is right? Is it possible to we both are right? Is it possible? Not in that. Not with that. No. Any contradiction, any contradictory statement, both cannot be right. For example, if I say you are 45 and you are saying you are 20, then you will be right. I will be wrong. 
Second option is, I am right, you are wrong. Third option is, we both are wrong. It's impossible to have both are right. You see? So when you have the contradiction, it can be either not from the God or from the human, written by the human being, or it came from the God, but corrupted by the human being. It cannot be from the from the human being contradictory and the God. The contradiction, two contradictory statements cannot be truth at the same time. You see, and Quran challenge it. They say, if you believe it's come from, not come from the creator, create something like it. Quran give the challenge to human being. Create something like it. If you don't, if you don't believe this, it's come from God. Like, with Islam, 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 Islam. Films of? Like a film, like a movie. Yeah. Big... Movie depends on like what kind of documentary. We we we, we see the documentary. We no, see no, that. Like fictionalized things about like Muhammad or something. We, like, like do you think it's true? We we be, we believe uh, we we believe we love the Prophet Muhammad yeah. Islam. After Allah, we love Allah. Then Prophet Muhammad. Then our parents. Then our life. Yeah. So we believe we don't we don't believe this that we should make the cartoon of Prophet Muhammad Sussam. It is it is going well, it what is about like a live action thing with an actor or something. Like we can't how can you how can you show the life of Prophet Muhammad Sussam? He died, right? We can't we can't put any actor in in the uh, in in a, in a sense of Prophet Muhammad Sussam. We we we, sh we show the respect, not even Prophet Muhammad Sussam. We don't make any cartoon of any of the things about the Jesus as well, about the Moses as well, about any of the prophets. There is a verse in the Quran which says, "La nufarriqu bayna ahadim min rusuli." There's we don't make any differentiation between any prophets. We believe and respect all of the prophets. And one of the fundamental belief of Muslim is wa kutubihi wa rusulihi. We say we believe in the all the kitabs, all the books which came before, and wa rusulihi we believe all the messengers. So we don't make any differentiation for the all the prophets. So we gave same respect. Are there any like Muslim movies, like films about Islam? I think there is a series of Ertugul or something like that. It's talking about the Usma, Usma Ottoman Sultanate, Otto, or Ottoman Empire. It, it talks about the, how the Ottoman Empire rise. And yeah, there's many series of this. But we don't make the cartoon. We don't make the picture of the Prophet Muhammad system. We don't do this. We don't do any, any, any for any of the prophets. We don't do. And if someone did, you think uh, it's strong? We believe it's strong. It's strong. Yeah, that's our position. All right. Any other question? Did you read the Quran before? Take one. No, I have. I have. You have. Three ones, so really? I like from, um, so I will read. It. Yeah. Take this one. Let me give you another one. Really? Yeah. You can take this too. Yeah. Thanks. All right. No problem at all. Take care of yourself. Oh, bro, it's long discussion. Sorry, my son. Yeah. Sorry. They come from Abu Dhabi. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Lady, she was agnostic first, and then she changed her position. She believed in a creator, but she has some issues with the veg, non-veg, and uh, the why you should not take it meat. But we gave the scientific reason. We gave the reason of Quran. Then, alhamdulillah, we tried to give her a message. May Allah forgive my mistakes. May Allah forgive all of our sins.